Hey, it's Sean and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com, and uh, we're still living it up outside in these COVID days. And uh, we have a smash beer in front of us. Today, on this video, we're gonna learn more about what do Nelson Savine hops taste and smell like. Now, we've brewed with this particular variety before, but uh, in sad attempts at maybe making like a white wine-ish braggot which no matter how long I age that thing, it's never gonna taste good. We've tried it and we're still gonna open it up maybe a few years from now. It's still gonna be awful, I can tell you that right now. But uh, there was a request a while ago for us to do a smash beer with this, this variety, Nelson Savine. So I brew these uh, in one gallon batch sizes, small, no matter where you're, you are in the world and whatever your, um, particular uh, measurement style is. Uh, just think of a small, very small batch. When I take uh, uh, one packet of hops and I spread that across the different uh, timing of the brew process. This one, I think 15 minutes left to go in the boil. I put in a smidge and then put the majority of the hops at the end of the boil, that nice. was a six minute boil, flame out and then had a, a little bit more of a smidge at uh, day three of fermentation, and that actually sat in there for seven days a week. And then I kegged it and threw it in the fridge, went on vacation, and, and here, here we are. Here we are. So, Nelson Savine, I think we've talked about it. White wine-like qualities, right? Um, gooseberry, have you ever had that? Like, so I had a, a few samples of this, um, but when I got back from vacation and before we turned the camera on, and I thought this, uh, Pretty much nailed it. I don't know uh, what you're thinking, but uh, why don't you have a few more tastes and I'll look it up on the old phone. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would, phone. I'd add to the descriptor here, the aroma. Um, it's not like, to me, it's not like over the top grapey, but it's um, like a white grape, but I mean, I, I could be convinced of a white grape without the skins on it. Um, so just like that grape flesh, like a Welch's white grape juice almost aroma. <laughs> Um, that part is mild. What I really get is sort of like a dull green honeydew melon type of okay. aroma, right? Like underripe honeydew, um, and, but it's beautiful. It's actually quite nice. And there's a little bit of a uh, floral component too, to it too, um, which is really nice. But it drinks super soft. Yeah. It drinks uh, with a really nice just sort of blended fruit presence that is sort of reminiscent of fleshy white grape. Again, I think I get a little of that, like a, a green melon, underripe green melon. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Maybe like a touch of like white peach or white tangerine, really, right? Nectarine, sorry, white nectarine, right? I actually bought white flesh nectarines at the store. I love those. I've been buying those for years. I was going to bring one over and say, nice. like, look, some white fleshy yes, fruits. White fleshy fruits. And then just like so that's what it. this really re reminds me of. It's just, it's yep. subtle, but the flavor is, it's juicy. I mean, the, it is a nice, and the best part about it, there is no, there's a tremendous amount of juice flavor here, hmm. fruit flavor, but there's no, um, just because you're working with one ounce, there's, there's like no, um, that raw hot bite. Yes. Like that first couple of sips, yep. it is just fruit profile, but no like hop profile, mm. right? Like hopness, which yes. I think is fantastic. Uh, to be honest with you, I think you've stumbled across an amazingly good lot of Nelson Savine. Yeah, well, that's actually a funny story because <laughs> the packet I had in my fridge, again, this was a request from a while ago, came from our friends at Beer Wine Hobby Okay. Who, you know, we don't know their pellets, they've packaged them in, in their own yeah, foil pack. So we're not so, really yeah. sure yeah. what the process is, like yeah. what, you know, what uh, do they get? And then how do they divvy yeah. out into the one ounce packets? Yeah. And then that's what they sell. Yeah. Um, when I opened that, so 11%, 11.1% alpha acids in this batch from what I remember from the foil pack. When I opened it up, you talk about like you always say like I sniff hops. It always smells like hop pellets. Yeah. Strong aroma. Like okay. It was very good. So I it was think like that's the deal, fresh. right? Yeah. I mean that's the deal. Yeah. So um, it wasn't like, yeah. So the age wasn't showing on the hop pellets, at least from from a, yeah. you know, aroma uh, standpoint. So I was pretty psyched to, to brew with it, and like the resulting beer I thought was was uh, pretty special. 
Um, so characteristics, smooth bittering is Wicked a- Wicked uh, smooth though. Is a uh, People talk about like thing. Magnum of Warrior being smooth bittering. This is smoother than that. Yeah, this is smooth. I would say- I mean, Greg, you didn't is, dump a lot in clean. as a bittering charge, but it's yeah. super, yeah, it's not yeah. clean. It's not clean. But it's smooth, really smooth. Yeah. Uh, rich, fruity, gooseberry, and white wine flavors. Yeah, I mean, I like the use of those terms because it makes you go, ooh, I want to try it. But I think for me, it's a little bit close to put it more like gooseberry. I mean, who the heck, you know, it's a little bit like Loganberry, if anybody's <laughs> ever had Loganberries. So, but to me, it is it is more of that. There's yeah. almost like a little bit of, there's, it's, it's melon and grape, white grape. Yeah, I don't know, when I actually, after I had a little taster, and then I, after it was done, I smelled the glass. It did have a reminiscent smell of like a white wine. Yeah, Like in yeah, the aroma. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. My wife's gonna love this. She likes getting college girl drunk on white wine. Oh boy. This is gonna be he a He said it, for not her. me. He said it, not me. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully you dug that. This is really great. Like this I, is This is a very yeah. full experience smash beer yeah right it hits on a lot of notes yeah. um even more so than i think some of the other smash hops that we've used that are supposed to be yep. big players right they're right. supposed to be really standalone yeah this one this particular lot whatever you've got here this one is really jammed. i had one packet that's i know it. i know but that's the point you know this one is <laughs> is totally on point yeah um it'd be interesting to uh Call them, like how long ago did you get this packet? I don't, I can't. So yeah, the, my point is, it'd be, it'd be interesting to do another Smash Beer with another packet from the same store yeah. and see if you get just as lucky, right? I so, can give it a try. Only because that's just something we've talked a lot about off camera is freshness of these types of ingredients. Right. Because um, sometimes we don't get the classical descriptors and we ask ourselves, where are those descriptors coming from? Yes. And so it might be a freshness issue, but that's a different video. Potentially. So, anyway, this is, it's phenomenal. So I would say that, um, yep, certainly this is a great standalone hop if you're looking to make a nice smash beer. I think that if you were trying to figure out a, a hop profile and how it would play with other hops, this is, as Mike has put it, like uh, very fruity, smooth, and um, melony, white grape. Yeah. So if you're if you're if you've got hops that are piney or overly citrus, maybe this plays on with that. You know what'd be cool with this might be something like sabro. Yeah. Right. Okay. Maybe a little bit of that mm. coconut thing mm. in there. Right. Then you'd really tropical out on this. That's true. Um, but certainly, like my other experience brewing with this hop, I'm I'm so sad that I, I I've I waited this long because yeah. Yeah. again making a mead beer hybrid and trying yeah. to be you know funny quirky with uh, the hop variety and like that being a complete i don't know a complete disaster but a you know a disappointment it, it threw me off the trail of a really great hop variety so nelson savine a new zealand hops at least from what i read on on the line check it out if you get your hands on some makes a great smash beer also it can be used in a uh, hop forward beer of your choice. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. We do this every week for John and Mike, brew-dudes.com. Brew on. Cheers.